Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Grand Ole Opry. What do you think? All right. You're about to witness something very special from the heart. One of the most beloved people that has ever played and sang country music is Miss Connie Smith. How about a hand for Miss Connie Smith? Yeah. We're here to celebrate the life of Connie Smith. She's about to release her 54th album, a member of the Country Music Hall of Fame, and she's dying to sing. How about a hand for the great Connie Smith, everybody? So happy to be here at the circle and at the grand old yeah. Opry. Get out your pens and pencils, kids, and take notes, because that is how you do it. The beautiful and rich sound of Connie Smith. No other voice like that. She is one of a kind, which is the reason this show is going to be an extra special show. For this entire hour, we're celebrating all things Connie. Now, you can point to a million stats to explain why she's great, but honestly, they don't even tell you the whole story. You just need to understand two things. One, by being the first female country artist to have a number one song with her debut single, she helped pave the way for many, many others. And two, the sheer awe everyone feels when hearing her sing, especially her peers. Merle Haggard once said, if you're talking about a country singer, there ain't nobody better than Connie Smith. Dolly Parton was a bit more blunt. She said there are only three real female singers in the world, Barbra Streisand, Linda Ronstadt, and Connie Smith, the rest of us are only pretending. And that's Dolly that said that. You get the idea, right? So that's why tonight we celebrate a rare and real singer. This night is entirely handcrafted by the one person who knows her best. And in those capable hands, I leave you now. Here is Marty Stewart. He's the bestest. <laughs> We're gonna do a song now that actually Marty Stewart and Harry Stinson wrote for me. Yes. 
And I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> What's it called? It's called Look Out, Heart. Tonight's Opry performance is in association with Shriners Hospitals for Children. Well, hello everyone out there on our live stream tonight. My name's Natalie Stovall and I am so happy to be back in the house at the Grand Ole Opry. What a night it is to be here tonight. We are just celebrating Miss Connie Smith as much as possible tonight. It is so exciting. She is such a legend. Did you guys hear? Marty Stewart say that she's getting ready to release her 54th album. 54 albums. I can't even imagine recording 54 albums. That is just, that in of itself is such an accomplishment. But she has so many more accomplishments that we're going to be celebrating all night long. And I can't wait to get to all of them. I love that we just got to hear a brand new song from Connie Smith that nobody's heard before. It's so exciting. Y'all, it has been such a thrilling week. I have been out on the road. I bust in straight to the show tonight. It's just so good, and it feels so good to have a full crowd. We are packed tonight. So we have a lot to get to. One of the things that we need to talk about is this landmark show. It's a new series on Circle, and all of you that were tuned in earlier got to see this. You got to see a little sneak peek of it. So it's the Stages of Country Music. It's this new series. They are going to be showing us stages in iconic venues all all around the country. We have quite a few here in Nashville, but you're going to hear about stories from all kinds of different artists, why those venues are special to them. You might even hear from your girl Stovall about one of those venues here in Nashville. And uh, you're also going to hear stories from folks like Steven Tyler and Cher, Hank Jr., Chris Christopherson, all kinds of artists. So be sure and tune in to Landmarks, the stages of country music on Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. And you guys can get tickets to Opry shows anytime you'd like. We have shows on Tuesday nights, on Friday nights, on Saturday nights. We are selling them out, and it feels so good. You can go to Opry.com if you're going to be in the Nashville area. We would love to see your face. And the good news is we get to see all of it. It is safe enough in here for us to be able to have you unmasked, and it's just amazing. So, y'all, check it out. We got folks like Joe Bonamassa, Dustin Lynch, Brad Paisley, Sarah Evans, and Lauren Elena coming up. So get ready. Now, 
it is already time to get back to this amazing Grand Ole Opry show celebrating Connie Smith. So I'm gonna throw it back to Mr. Marty Stewart. Oh, but before we go any further, how about a hand from Mike Terry? He's working yeah. hard over there. Go, Michael. Yeah. Step over here in the spotlight, Constance. There you go. Hi. All right. Uh, this night is about you. And uh, I bet you just as soon to be about somebody else, right? Yes. <laughs> How I've, about you? No, it's about you. I've lost track of the times people have called to uh, ask you to come sing for them, to honor somebody. And uh, there just comes a time, and we're so honored by your presence. You mean more to country music now than ever before. And uh, your heart, you're such a profound lady, and I love you. And the best part about this, I get to go home with her tonight after it's over with. Yeah. 54 records, that's strong. One thing we have at our house is an exquisite taste for singing. The bar is high at our house, and there's a couple ladies that have come by that are about to come out to sing a couple of songs that you made famous. How about you introduce this first lady? Well, this lady, the first time I heard her sing, I thought, man, we've got a good one. And I'm always listening for a good young talent. And she is so good. And she honored me when I was inducted into the Hall of Fame of coming and singing for me. And I'm so proud she's here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome the great Leanne Womack. Ribbon of darkness over me Since my true love walked out the door Tears I never had before Ribbon of darkness over me Clouds are gathering o'er my head They chill the day and hide the sun And shroud the night when day darkness over me rain is falling on the meadow where once my love and I did lie now he's gone from the meadow my love could burn living in darkness over me where once the world Well, hello, everybody, and hello. 
Hello, Connie. And congratulations to you. I know you've been on the Opry as long as I have, and I have always loved your music. You know, I consider you one of my girlfriends, and I think you're one of the greatest singers that has ever stood on the stage at the Grand Ole Opry. I'm so happy to know you've got a new release coming out. I can't wait to hear it. So congratulations to you on anything and everything, especially this thing. Hey, Connie, it's Tanya. I cannot wait to get your new album, A Cry of the Heart. Cannot wait. You know, you're one of my very favorites, my hero. I've always loved you. And I cannot wait to hear your new stuff. I love you so much. Go get them, gal. There you go. Some of your friends. Come here. How about it? Everything okay so far? Everything's great. All right. <laughs> this next song I really love. And uh, you, you wrote this song with a fellow named George Ritchie, right? Well, introduce and tell about the lady going to sing. Well, we wrote this in the 70s, and I had an idea of a song that said, you got me right where you want me, and I want me right where I am. And so I told that to George, so we wrote it. But I tell you, it's, it's just, uh, I never get tired of singing it, and I'll never, ever get tired of hearing this girl sing it, because she's one of the finest singers we have ever had in this business or any other. Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome Mandy Barnett. <laughs> Isn't she wonderful? Oh my gosh. I'm going to try to do this song justice, okay? You ready? Just have one moment with you. We're here all alone, just us two. Let me try to tell you in a few.
mean, Mandy Barnett. It is not get better than that voice. And I cannot even imagine having Miss Connie Smith tell me that I'm one of the best voices in country music. You are unbelievable. Oh, Lord. You always I'm are. Like <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was just saying to our beautiful live stream audience out there, I can't imagine standing in that circle and having Miss Connie Smith, one of the legend best voices in the world, tell you that you're one of the best voices in the world. Oh, I tell you, I, I, I'm trembling. I really am. I can't believe are it. And really? she said, I am. And you know, I've known Connie for a long time, yeah. but being around your heroes, it's really, really something special. Well, and to be able to honor her tonight like this is just an amazing thing. You know? Absolutely. And you sound so incredible on that song. Is that one that she asked you to sing or did you pick it? It is. It's one that, and I remember hearing it years ago. And so when I heard it again, I thought, wow, what a great song. Yeah. So yeah. I so I learned it and uh, I'm just just so thrilled that they asked me to do it. I know. I am too. I can't think of a more perfect person for them to have on the <laughs> show tonight. You. And I know everyone agrees with that. And I, I know you've been on the Opry stage over 400 times, right? I don't yeah. even... Yeah. I, I have stopped counting. <laughs> you, can't, yeah. you can't keep counting anymore. <laughs> well, one of the greatest singers in country music. And you heard it straight from Connie Smith, folks. <laughs> Mandy Barnett. Uh, I love you. So good to see you. So good to see you. Love you too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, I mean, there's something so magical about hearing Mandy's voice in that circle because I just feel like she has this ability to transport us all back in time. It's how country music, I mean, it just feels like a time machine with her. Oh, so amazing. Well, speaking of amazingness, we have this new show called Talking in Circles with Clint Black here on Circle. We just work in circle just about anywhere and everywhere we can, don't we? All you have to do, though, to see this new show with Clint Black is stay right where you are because it comes on circle on Saturday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 Central. So be sure and tune into that. It's so much fun. He interviews some of his favorite artists, gets all kinds of stories from people that you'd never hear otherwise. But right now, we have a very special few messages from some special people for Miss Connie Smith. Hi, this is Willie Nelson, and I want to talk about a real good friend of mine that I've known for 50 years, one of the greatest country singers to ever live, Connie Smith. Once a day, all day long, is one of the greatest country songs ever sung by anybody. So I'm wishing her a lot of luck with her future and whatever she's into. Just remember, Connie, I love you, and good luck. Hi, Mom. As you can see, all five of us kids are here, even Darren on TV in Norway. We've got spouses, grandkids, everybody, including your new great grandbaby. Anyway, we just wanted to say we're so proud of all you've achieved in your career, but we're of course much prouder to have such a wonderful mom who's always been there for us, always made time for us, and loves us so much. We're so glad you're being celebrated. Ready, everybody? One, two, three. We love you, mom. Bye. Bye, mom. That's what it's, is this on? Is this on? There it is. Well, actually, your young'uns are in the house tonight, somewhere. How about a hand for Connie's young'uns back there? There they are. My mama and my sister's here, family here, back there. Right over there. So this next segment, baby, is a, two songs that I wrote about you. And how about, somebody go, aww. Well, where do you hear them first? <laughs> When we first got together, uh, I, her real name is Constance June, and so I called her Constance June. And so I wrote this song called Sailing Around the Moon with my pretty little Constance June. And it's pretty cool. <laughs> but to perform it tonight, we have culture in the house. How about a hand for the Tennessee Mafia Jug Band, all right? <laughs> Oh, Mike, you got out of jail to come tonight. All right. Yeah. <laughs> he said he got eat up with sugars. Get picking he these did. off the well, farm. Look here. Ooh, 
present. That's heavy. Let me hold this for you. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. Bless your heart. Well, Stay with us. We'll be back in. Presents. Oh, look. This, this is what a country girl needs. <laughs> New shovel. <laughs> well, it's a nice shovel. Brand new. Uh-oh. Turnip greens. <laughs> Where'd you get those turnip greens? From your husband. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Work release at the Grand Ole Opry. How about a hand for that? <laughs> Is you ready? Yep. Tennessee Mafia Jug Band, what about it? So it looks like turnip greens for lunch tomorrow. That's good. And you can see why she married me after writing such a romantic song, right? Yeah. Actually, when we first got together, we started writing a lot of songs. And I started hearing her sing those words back, and I fell in love. It was that Me simple. Too. You too, yeah. And so um, we had time together, writing songs, being around each other. And then you had a tour to go to Europe. Yep, for, Lillyheimer for the Winter Olympics. For first several days. Yeah. And that's the first time after we'd got going that I ever had to do without her. And I thought, I'm going to miss her. Mm -hmm. And so I wrote this song and gave it to her, and I said, don't listen to it till you, till you get on the airplane. But there was something about the song that bothered me, 
and I figured out later what it was. My buddy John Prine wrote a song, and I ripped him off note for note on the melody. <laughs> so I called John, and I said, John, I've been hanging out with Connie Smith, and I wrote a song, but it is absolutely like one of your songs. But I, I got the girl, and he said, I'm glad I could help out. All right, so <laughs> I've never performed this song in public ever. This is the first time, so. <laughs> Chains of gold, bars of steel Can't hold back the way I feel Beyond the sun, the darkest night You're my brightest, you're my light So here you are, after all these miles With the heart of a little child what do you think we ought to do? Think I'll fall in love with you. Days gone by, I was sad, too tired to cry. Along you came in from the blue, and you loved me, that's just like you. So here you are, after all these months, with a heart of a little child. What do you think? We ought to do Think I'll fall In love with you Think I'll fall been just about the sweetest thing I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. And he's not lying when he says he's never performed that song in public. He wouldn't even do it in sound check. He did like a tiny little bit to make sure everything was working properly, but we didn't even hear it earlier and get a sneak peek ourselves. That was so beautiful and so sweet. And what a beautiful way to continue the celebration of Miss Connie Smith. Also, how about the Tennessee Mafia Jug Band out there earlier? They were cracking me up. I've never seen turnip greens just hanging out in the middle of the circle. A couple of pieces fell earlier. <laughs> It's just so awesome to see that happening. You never know what's going to happen on the Grand Ole Opry, but that was just about the best thing, everybody bringing her out flowers and presents. I love it. I love it so much. Well, once again, welcome to all of our live streamers from all around the world that are tuning in. I am Natalie Stovall, and I'm always delighted to be here. And one of the segments that I absolutely love that we do every week here is the Circle Release of the Week. Now, our Circle Release of the Week, this is what we do to let you know about up and coming artists and folks that you may have never heard about before. Some, sometimes you've heard of them. And also it's been so fun to see how many of the circle artists that we have featured have ended up going on to debut on the stage up here. So this week, her name is Bailey James and the song is finally free. 
I am a new fan to Miss Bailey James. She is amazing. And I wish you guys could just go and listen to her really quick before I tell you this next tidbit because you will never believe that she's 18 years old when you listen to her sing. She sounds so much more mature and seasoned than 18. But she's already released quite a few songs. This song is really incredible and it's just got this maturity to it that I wouldn't expect. But she started singing when she was just two years old. She even went on to take opera lessons with a very legendary opera singer, Diane Reed, which talk about the technicality that you would learn, learning opera before you become a country singer. I just love it so much. So be sure and check out Bailey James' song, Finally Free, anywhere that you like to stream music. We love featuring these new up and coming artists. And so many of you have commented about how you listen to them. So thank you for doing that and support these new artists. Right now, we gotta get back over to Mr. Marty Stewart everybody here we are just for a second ladies and gentlemen she lost the one she loved and slowly lost her mind well, lucky Pretty good. You have no, you have no idea. Wherever I go, people love that lady on that screen. Every, well, last week we finally played a show in Pennsylvania. Last Saturday night, traveled all night, got off the bus, and the first thing the guy says, "Did you bring Connie with you?" <laughs> no, sir. He said, "I hate that." I said, me too. He said, can I ask you something else? I said, sure. He said, Marty, what's it like being married to a real country music legend? <laughs> I said, I think she's about to get used to it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I can get used to it. Next that. year, we'll be, or this year, this July the 8th, we'll be married 24 years, right? Yeah, I, I, I thought it was 25. Well, it feels like 25, don't it? <laughs> That's what you said. No. Enough, enough. Hey, there's a saying in this town that's so true. It all begins with a song. It all begins with a great song. Nothing happens without a great song. Once a Day was your first record. And it changed the course of things around this town. And once a year, the Library of Congress, the National Recording Registry, selects 25 songs from American history and enters it into the archives. And they call it the Dean's List, the best of the best of the best recordings. This year, your song, Once a Day, was voted into the National Recording Registry at the Library of Congress. I have some notes here because I wanted to get it right. Some of your fellow inductees was Thomas Edison, Louis Armstrong, Song When the Saints Go Marching In, Franklin Roosevelt, Winston Churchill, Albert King, Leontine Price, Jackson Brown, and Kermit the Frog. <laughs> <laughs> but the truth is the worlds of pop, jazz, spoken word, classical R&B, blues, and opera were represented, and yours was the only country song registered this year. So you carried the ball for us. Welcome to the National Recording Registry. Thank you so very much. Isn't that awesome? I'm so blessed. Let me have that and you say okay. once a day. How about that? All right. If I can remember the words. I recorded it on July the 16th, 1964. <laughs> When you found 
Somebody knew I thought I never would Forget you for I thought then I never could But time has taken all the pains away Until now I'm down to hurt once a day for Miss Connie Smith in here right now, as it should be. This is so perfect right now. Oh, that was amazing, and she still sounds so incredible. Oh, I love this so much. I mean, she said she recorded that song in 1964. That was her debut single, and it went number one for eight weeks. She was the first female to ever do that. And she held that record for 50 years after that. You know who broke that record? Was Miss Taylor Swift. That was the first woman to come along to break Connie Smith's record, which is just incredible. That gives you an idea of the impact that Connie Smith has had on country music, on all of us females, how she has paved the way for every single one of us to be on this stage and be a part of country music. She's one of the pioneers right there, and look at her still doing it like it's no big deal. Oh, she's so amazing, and I gotta say too, she is just one of the kindest and sweetest humans in the world. I cannot believe I'm about to be able to say this, but I got to share a dressing room with Connie Smith earlier. They were doing her hair and makeup, and then they even did a little spruce up on Marty's hair right after that, and it was right where I was, and those are the kind of moments that I'll look back on and go, how is this my life? It's just amazing. You know, Dolly Parton, y'all saw that little clip of her earlier. She said there are really only three female singers, Barbara Streisand, Linda Ronstadt, and Connie Smith. The rest of us are only pretending. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? That's so perfect. Leave it to Dolly to just say it perfectly for all of us. So incredible. Well, y'all, Circle is everywhere now, and I know if you're tuning in here on the live stream, we love having you every single week. But if you want to see all of the other shows that I keep telling you about, make sure you find Circle. It's on so many places right now. We are on Xfinity, Peacock, Roku, Samsung, Vizio, and the Zumo app. So pretty much anywhere you go, there's a way that you can get a hold 
hold a circle and you can see all of those amazing shows and programs that we have up right now. But thank you so much for tuning in week after week here. We are so proud to have this Grand Ole Opry show. This circle has remained unbroken and thank you all for being here. I'm so happy to be a part of it. We got just a little more right now. So I'm gonna throw it backstage to Bobby Bones, y'all. Welcome back to Opry Live. Well, if you didn't know and love Connie before the show, no doubt you do now. What a voice, what a legacy, and she's still going strong with a new album coming out later in the summer. Thank you to Leanne Womack and Mandy Barnett for making this celebration very special. An extra special thanks to Marty Stewart for sharing his love of Connie and her God-given talent. And to Connie, thank you for making our lives better with your music and your heart. We love you. All right, to take the train out of the station, here once again is Marty Stewart. You know, this, this next song I want to sing, I heard this lady sing it that is one of my great heroes. Matter of fact, when I was in Ohio, uh, uh, and uh, I grew up there, and uh, actually I was at a place called Frontier Ranch, and I entered a talent contest, and one of her songs was the one I won the contest with, and actually led about me coming to Nashville later on, but uh, her name was Miss Jean Shepherd. And she broke the bounds whenever she got into country music. And they told her, well, there's not many women in country music. She said, well, I'm going to change all that. And she did. I think her favorite saying on stage was she'd talk about her band and she'd say, well, now, how can I fly with the eagles when I work with a bunch of turkeys? <laughs> but she was a wonderful singer. I love the way she enunciated her words and the way she sang and the heart she put in it and how clear she sang. And this is a song I heard her sing on the Wilburn Brothers show with them doing backup one time. It's called Heart. We did all that we could. Well, there she goes. He hardly knows whose heart he's breaking. I talked to him, but I don't so just forget about the plans you might be making Heart, we did all that we could These lips, these hungry lips are pleading for you they used all the tender words that they could. So if you break and fall apart, I wouldn't blame you. Heart, we did all that we could. Thank you. Beautiful job, Constance. Thank you. Give everybody on this stage a nice hand. I want to call everybody's name. <laughs> Greatest. 
The gentleman playing the steel guitar is a member of Connie's band. The Sundowner is one of the greatest country bands in the world. Gary Carter, stand up and take a bow. How about a hand for Mr. Gary Carter? Cool cat out front. With, how about a hand for Mr. Justin Weaver, ladies and gentlemen? On the upright bass, Mr. Dennis Crouch. How about a hand for Dennis? One of the fabulous superlatives on the drums, handsome Harry Stinson singing so pretty. Right. Take a bow, handsome. Yeah! Another fabulous superlative, the coolest cat in town. How about a hand for cousin Kenny Vaughn, ladies and gentlemen? Absolutely one of the finest piano players in the world, Mr. Michael Hulser. How, Micah Hulser. Hi, Micah. Our first time to play together. Love it. The string section is Miss Kristen Wilkinson and the superlative string. Stand up and take a bow, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Years ago, it was outlaw to bring drums onto the stage of the Grand Ole Opry. Somebody go, ooh. <laughs> so a lot of bands will say, you know, our band was the first one to have drums on the Grand Ole Opry. And that's kind of gone around and it's kind of become a matter of debate over the years. But I can tell you with full assurance, timpani have never been played on the Grand Ole Opry until tonight. And the great Sam Baco is going to play on this song. How about that? Yeah. And, and this is a song, Constance June, that you and I wrote. I believe we were on our way to... Vegas or somewhere, or I don't know. <laughs> Vegas, Alabama, that's where we were Yeah, going. that's it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Listen, it's called Here Comes My Baby Back Again. That's right. Debut.
time that's been done. <laughs> oh, you're so welcome. I'm so thankful that you all came out because the more you enjoy it, the more we enjoy it. And the more you give to us, the more we can give back. So it's all about all of us. Oh, Marty wanted me to tell you the name of my new album is The Cry of the Heart. I've always thought that country music is the cry of the heart. And uh, this next song I want to do, a dear friend of mine and Marty's wrote years ago. Actually, I recorded it in the 70s, but when I finished this album, we, I always like to do a gospel song. And we wanted to do it again because it was very apropos at the time it was written. And I think it's even more relevant today. Merle Haggard wrote this one. It's called, Jesus, Take a Hold and Lead Us Through. Like the ancient Roman Empire, this world is doomed to fall. And it's much too big a thing for mortal man. Take a look around and see the writing on the wall. Somehow we've got to find a helping hand. This world has never been in the awful shape it's in. Scorn the things our leaders do. It's time a prayer was spoken from the heart of every man. Jesus, take a hold and lead us through. The mighty roar of gunfire is now a local sound, and our city streets are filled with angry men. Destruction seems to be the current trend. This world has never been in the awful shape it's in. And the leaders scorn the things our leaders do. It's time a prayer was spoken from the heart of every man. Jesus, take a hold and Take a hold and lead us through.
the Grand Ole Opry. Members of the Country Music Hall of Fame, Marty Stewart and Connie Smith, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you. Thank you for being with us tonight at the Grand Ole Opry. We'll be back next week on The Legend, 6.50 a.m. WSM. WSMonline.com, the WSM and Opry apps, Thank and Sirius XM Satellite Radio. I'm Mike Terry. Good night, everyone.